God when I was in falsehood being attacked by my former preacher practically every time the doors was open. Yeah. Set me down for preaching the word of God for a whole year. Oh, yeah. After the year expired, he said, you're going to preach what I preach? I said, I'll preach what the Bible said. He said, I didn't ask you that. Are you going to preach what I preach? I held my guns and said, I'm going to preach what the Bible said. That's right. He said, all right, being that you want to always talk about the Bible. He told the church, Gino going to preach tonight. I was only in my teens. Yeah. He selected the chapter, the book, and the verse. Out of obedience, I went to his book. I went to his chapter. I went to his verse. And I decreased, and God gave the increase. <laughs> That's right. In the midst of all that turmoil. That's right. God gave me perfect peace. Amen. Williams would ask him, I don't understand how you deal with it. Yeah. I said, I, when you turn a thing over to God, you don't turn it to God and take it back. That's right. Turn it to God and let him have it. That's it. That's right. When you're resorting to your own methods of trying to get perfect peace, you will never get it as long as you breathe. That's right. Because perfect peace cannot come on your own. No. It has to come from above. That's right. The Bible says every good gift, every perfect gift comes from above. And it comes down. down from the Father of lights of whom there is no veritables nor shadow of turning. That's right. That's right. Glory to God. Now, did you hear this? Thou will keep him in perfect peace. Who's what? Whose mind is stayed on thee. How consistent it got to be? Whose mind is stayed on thee. Right then the scripture is demanding stability. That's right. A double-minded man is unstable in how much? In all his ways. You get a double-minded person, they ain't going to stay with God? No. No, they they're won't. They're not going to stay with God? No, they're not? No, no. The no, first no. thing that depart from God is your mind. Your mind. The next thing that depart from God is your heart. Your heart. Even if your body keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. If God don't have your mind... <laughs> God don't have your heart. Uh -huh. Whatever have your mind and your heart, you're going to serve it. That's right. And no man can serve two masters. Two masters. Glory to God, you're going to hate one and love the other. That's right. And that's what the churches are trying to do. Yeah. The churches are scared to be different from the world. That's right. They don't want to be different from the world. That's right. Because they're afraid of how the world going to look at them. Yeah. Anytime you're walking with God, you got to be different from that's the world. Right. That's right. Got to be. Got to be. Why well, don't see you going to that prom? Because I'm not of the world. Not of the world. Why well, don't see you out here with shorts half naked? That's right. I'm not of the world. Not of the world. Wonderful. Why well, don't see you shacking up with him no more? I'm not of the world. Not of the world. Amen. I'm part of a peculiar people. Peculiar. A royal priesthood. That's right. A sanctified people. That's right. Set apart for God's movement. That's right. If you are afraid Hallelujah. to be different, you don't deserve the kingdom of God. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, man. Hallelujah. If you are afraid yeah. to be different, that's right. You don't deserve no. eternal life with God. That's right. And that ye may put different. God said it. In Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10. And what? And that ye may put different. Put different. Between holy and unholy. And That's why you don't see no difference in these churches. That's right. That's right. And different. they say, I am extreme. No, I am not. No, no. No, you're not. Difference. You in here scared to be different? Yeah. You ain't fit for the kingdom. That's right. So busy worrying about how they look at you out there. Who cares? The Holy Ghost said in Leviticus 10, 10. And that put, ye, put different. Put it. That ye may put, put it. That's right. That means that's an act. That's an act. There ought to be a difference here. That's right. You ain't out there loud and cussing people out in the street like the sinner? No. Different. Different. Not out there with mini skirts on, walking downtown. With shoes strapped all up to your knee. That's Big right. old ghetto looking prostitute and skeletos. That's right. Different. That's right. Brother, you ain't walk around with skin tight pants like you little Richard's nephew. Preacher, Amen. Preacher. Am I right? That she may put difference. Different, I said. Difference. 
The Bible speaks plain. And, that and you so-called modern church go ahead, going man. fakers. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. You look just like the sinner. You act just like the sinner. That's right. And you think just like the sinner. That's right. That's right. That's why you find T.D. Jakes hanging That's out right. with Puff Daddy. Yeah. That's why you find the Church of God in Christ allowing Chris Tucker and others to do a comedy skit. That's right. Don't want to be different. That's right. That's why right. the churches are flying rainbow flags. Yeah. They don't want to be different. No God is a God of no compromising. That's true. And if you compromise, you're just like the world. That's right. Go ahead, teacher. Jesus sent through John, I, love not love the world. Not the world. Don't love it. Neither the things that are in the world. That are in the world. If any man, if any man love the world, Hallelujah. the love of the Father is not in you it. You had a graduation. And they announce your son or your daughter, you ain't yelling from the balcony. Like the world. Like I don't care world. how proud you are. That's I would tell a woman have a meek and quiet spirit. That's right. That's right. She ain't yelling, woo! That's my boy, ah! <laughs> That's right. Imagine God come with you that tone. My Lord. Put a difference that she may put difference between holy no and No eye line shadow. I don't care how many gray strings come in your mustache. Don't dye it. That's right. Imagine me dyeing my hair, that little landing strip. Dye jet black, Pastor. Can you imagine? Amen. Afraid to be different. That's right. So busy worrying about how you look in the eyes of people. Yeah. And when you talk to people like that, it hardly ever come out of their mouth. They're concerned how God look at them. Right. You can talk to them for years, not once. That's true. Do whatever come out of their mouth, how God look at them. That's right. And this is why you find the churches, even them that's called themselves, Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, walk hand in hand with anything. Yeah. Fellowship with anything. That's right. God says, put a difference. That she may put And if you're scared to be different, you ought to go to hell. Because <laughs> that's, that's right. where you're going. That's where you're going. The apostles were separate from everything. Yes, they were. That's why the government and the people of that time attacked them so viciously. Their gospel, the standard, was different from everything. Everything. That's so the right. Bible said, uh, we, got, we, we wanted to destroy these men. Unless they turned the world upside, upside down. down. They were scared the apostles' teaching would turn the world upside down. That's right. Brother Paul went on down in Asia where they was worshiping the great goddess Diana and Demetrius and the silversmiths men that had the same craft was paying homage to Diana. Yeah. Paul went in there in Asia and let us understand Asia is the largest continent in the world. But when Paul got done, That's right. the Bible says this Paul almost Turned away threw out all, All Asia, Asia has persuaded, has persuaded, and turned away and much turned people. away much people, saying that and they that be, Paul said there is no, no gods, gods which are made with hands. He didn't care how Asia fell about him. No, he didn't. Throughout, almost throughout all Asia. Glory to God. I'm praying that this message That's will so upset governments until they fight about it in Congress. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Fight about it in Parliament. That's right. That's something. That's what I want. Amen. Hey Amen. I want to see congressmen fighting over it. <laughs> Amen. Well, we heard that picture down there. Sir, so that truth of God saying homosexuality is wrong. I'm a Christian too. Where is the love? That's not love. That's not love. That's lust. That's right. That's what it is. That's what it is. We are different. That's right. Male and female. and female. We are not they. We are not them. No, no. No, sir. No way. And we ain't calling nobody they. And we ain't calling nobody them. That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. Talk back to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put a difference. Put difference. Go with God. Put difference. 
you Republican fakers Go ahead, man. that claim you are Christians. Go ahead. If you are like Christ, yes. Christ said, shall a man, That's right. let a man leave his father, father and mother and mother and cleave to and his cleave wife. to they. And cleave to his wife. Wait a minute. Amen. Cleave to them. And cleave to his wife. Cleave to him. His wife. Cleave to his wife. <laughs> That's right. They don't call this love. No. They don't call that love. They say this is militancy. That's right. You call it what you want. The word of God says preach the word. That's it. Any minister scared to preach the word, you shouldn't hang around first church. No, no. No, it's best you pack up right now and don't ever come back That's until right. you're ready to preach the word. That's it. That's right. Here we got our life on the line everywhere we go. Yes, My do. life is on the line and I'm going to compromise for anybody? No. No, no. We challenge the government of America, the governments of Africa, the Caribbean, Europe, That's India, right. every place. Every place. Australia already lift the ban on me. <laughs> hey Amen. They said I could come. Well, we'll see how long that lasts. That's right. I'm do like Logan said. Be nice, G. <laughs> That's right. Be nice, G. That's right. I'll be nice till I get there. <laughs> Amen. Or they go when I get there, I'm going to unload all the Bible I can and blast it to hell. Blast it. That's right. That's right. That's right. We recognize this by the fruit that is bearing. That's right. Oh, we take God and it's bearing some good fruit. Oh, and yes. nobody can deny it. No. I mean, every time they walk up, they brush it up against the orchard of the truth of God. That's right. Listen at this. And that she may put difference, put difference between, holy between holy and unholy. What else? And between unclean, between unclean and clean. Amen. If a sister... Commit fornication and had a child or wet like she's wrong. And she ought to come before the church and repent for her deed. You commit fornication and didn't have no child. Then why did you got so much to say about the one that had the child? That's right. The one that had the child, that simply is a manifestation of her deed. Right. You not having no child just got your deed undercover. That's right. But you in the same boat. Yeah. In the same boat. That's right. That's right. Okay. Give me good. And that she may put difference. <laughs> I <laughs> love this. Amen. Go back to the book of Jude, son. Back in Jude 1 and verse 1. That's what the Holy Ghost brought here today. Jude, the servant of Jesus and Christ. Man, he, brought brought... Jude, he brought Jude to me uh, early in the morning. I woke up wow. early this morning while it was still dark. And I heard the Spirit speak to me. My earnestly Lord. contend my Lord, my Lord. for the faith my Lord. that was. I heard it just as clear as day. Earnestly contend, Earnestly contend for, the for the faith, faith that was once delivered unto the saints. Wonderful. Amen. So that's what the Holy Ghost wants you to know today. Today. And I want you to get this. You that are watching also, hear this. Mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied. Say what? Be mercy unto mercy, you. Peace. And love be multiplied. And love. No, go back to the back beginning to of it. Verse 1. Yes. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ. And brother of James. Brother of James. To them that are sanctified them by that God are the Father. Set apart by God. And preserved in Jesus Christ. And they and are called. preserved in Jesus Christ, which is the name of God. And called. And called. Called. God called his people. That's right. It is written. The Lord has spoken and have called the whole earth from the rising of the sun to the going down thereof. That's right. And he called us with a holy calling. Holy calling. All right. Mercy unto you. What? Mercy unto you. Compassion. That's right. Mercy. Only a fool don't want God mercy. Only a fool. Only a fool. Mercy. Mercy unto you. Unto you. And peace. And peace. And love be multiplied. Love be multiplied. Beloved, when I gave all Beloved. diligence. Beloved. Glory to God. When I gave all diligence to, write unto, to you write unto you of the common salvation, of the common salvation, which means that it's common for man to obtain this salvation. Obtain. What was the conclusion, William? It was needful it was for necessary me for me to write unto you, to write unto you and, and exhort to you. build you up. 
that ye should earnestly contend that for the faith. That ye should be consistent. Earnestly contend for the faith. Earnestly. Earnestly. Contend. For the faith. For the one belief. Which was once which delivered. Which was once delivered. Brought. Unto the saints. Unto the saints. That's right. Earnestly contend. This is the one faith here. Yeah. The one faith. One that faith. was delivered to the saints. That's right. The Lord wants you to earnestly, earnestly contend, contend for that faith. Right. Not for what you think and what you feel, but for the faith that That's Jesus it. brought. That's right. Because the coming of the Lord, this message now of yeah. be holy and sanctified is the message for the last days now. Now. That's right, right now. Not later. Now. Now. That's right. Glory to God. You wonder why so many thousands are running to it? Because God has gathered up his sheep for his coming. Oh, yes. And God is advising them that are in the faith. That you should earnestly contend earnestly. for the faith. Earnestly. Contend. You know, when you earnestly contend for the faith, you are consistent. That's right. Nobody and nothing come in and come around. Mm -hmm. Alters my faith. That's right. That's right. You know, I travel the world, so therefore, I'm around all kinds of religions and religious leaders. I was in India. I went among the Hindus. I was uh, invited among the Hindus, mm -hmm. and I found it interesting, an uh, interesting lie. <laughs> because in India, they have over three million gods, and I'm saying to myself, it's hard enough to obey one. That's right. And you gave me over three million? My Lord. So the brothers who were ministers, who used to be Hindus, whom the Lord blessed, heard the word of God, repented of their sins, was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, took me from temple to temple and explained to me the function of the different idols who supposed to have been gods. And I mean, these idols was tall, like from the floor up to ceiling. Mm. <clears throat> and there was one idol, I think he had about six or eight arms, mm. painted real black with fat red lips. And it was sitting behind this large glass case with a doorbell. So I walked up to the idol and looked at him from head to toe, and very <laughs> ugly thing. And uh, Bishop Simbali said, this, I forgot what name of this God is supposed to be. He said, but this God sleeps. He said, if you want anything from him, that bell there, you must ring the bell. To awake him. And then the God will give you what you want. And even he laughed. So the bell was there and I rung it. Amen. And the God didn't do nothing. I rung it again. God didn't do nothing. Amen. So I rung it and banged on the glass. I wasn't expect for it to do anything. No. Because even the Hindus know if that large idol would have broke out that glass case, everybody would have been running and hollering. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. So sitting among the various religions in the world and listening at them explain their belief and how folly, how much foolishness it is. <laughs> Give me a great satisfaction and a great appreciation oh, yes. to know who Jesus is. That's right. That's right. And I believe that a lot of us today take for granted of what God is in God's church and being in God's church and we become very ease, very laid back. Right. Don't you know when you come to God's house and your mind is not on the word of God, but is on other things. That's not the word. You sin. That's right. You's a sinner sitting right here. Right here. Give me Ecclesiastes 5 and 1. And Ecclesiastes 5 and at verse 1. When your mind is constant on other things, you're constantly sinning. That's right. Which make you a mental sinner. That's right. Hear me good. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and at verse 1. Yeah. Keep thy foot. What? Keep thy foot. Keep thine foot means stay in place. When thou goest to the house of God. When you come where? To the house of God. Amen. And 
When we come to God's house, what should we be more ready to do? And be more ready to hear. Be more ready to shout. Be more ready to hear. Be more ready to see who's there. Be more ready to hear. Be more ready to tell that brother off. Be more ready to hear. Be more ready to go wife shopping. Be more ready to hear. Be more ready to see who I can take out for a date. Be more ready to hear. Be more ready to steal church money. Be more ready to hear. That's right. Be more ready to see, can I be a preacher? Be more ready to hear. Be more ready to hear than to do what? Than to give the sacrifice of food. Than to offer yourself up wrong. Your what? Thine heart. <laughs> Don't you be so quick to tell someone how you feel. That's right. That's right. You want to tell that brother off or tell that sister off. That's right. You can't wait for the benediction. <laughs> Two brothers want to have it out. Two old mothers want to have it out. Oh, Moving in slow motion with kings. <laughs> Many of you in the truth of God is going to hell. My Lord. God has brought this message to you for your salvation and protection, and some of you still ignore it because you're hard-headed and don't want it. That's right. Don't ask me after service, am I talking to you? God is talking. You That's judge right. yourself. That's right. What do you mean when you say, don't ask me nothing? nothing. Judge yourself. That's it. Because God is warning you now. That's right. Every time God warns us, it's before judgment takes place. Yeah. Hear this. Be not rash with thy mouth. Don't be rash with your mouth, and nor. And let not thine heart. Don't let your heart. Be hasty to utter anything before God. Don't be quick to God. say what's in your heart before God. You're in the presence of God. That's right. And that for that reason. For God is in heaven, and thou upon earth. And how shall we talk? Therefore, let thy words be few. That's right. You may say something, and it may be your last words. That's right. This is Ecclesiastes. Chapter 5, and I was at verse 2. The fifth chapter. Mm -hmm. Keep your foot. Keep back in verse 1. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. When you come to God's house and, be and the word ready. of God is going to be preached, mm -hmm. you should be on the edge of your seat. More than you are if you're looking at an old football game. That's true. That's true. Why? This is eternal life coming to you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Eternal life, hallelujah, Amen. is coming to you. Oh, yes. We're going to watch a movie and don't blink. Or don't even fall asleep on it. We hate to miss it. That's right. If we got the telephone, we can't even hardly get all the information that whoever's on the line saying. Oh, we're telling, wait, 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 shh, wait, just wait. Oh! <laughs> That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. This message is designed to keep us out of hell. There's no need to do what it takes to go to hell. The word of God says, Keep thy foot when thou goest to the you house keep of it God. Now. When you can turn earnestly for the faith that was once delivered unto the saints, you keep your foot, you pay attention, you observe it when you come to God's house. That's right. And you're more ready to? To hear. More ready and to And that hear. don't mean you're more ready to hear somebody else's business. I want it to be good for you newsy speaking in tongue people. 
That's right. Some of y'all folks speak in tongues, some of the most nosiest things under the sun. You ain't got the right to no one business unless they invite you. That's hey, I'm right. the overseer of thousands. I don't even just jump in nobody's personal business. Mm -hmm. If I'm not invited, I'm fine. That's right. That's one less problem I got to deal with. That's right. Hear me good? Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. And what? And be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice. You know, a lot of folks get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. Get mad at the Bible. That's right. Because getting mad at me won't help you none. No. And getting mad at God won't help you none. The best thing to do is fall in line, line up. That's right. So we'll take God with what the word of God said. That's it. What is it? Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. And, and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of food. Why? But they consider not that they do evil. You don't even give it thought. You sit right in church. That's true. Evil thoughts all in your mind. Evil feelings all in your heart. You don't even consider that you are evil right now in the eyes of God. That's right. With the Holy Ghost. With the Holy Ghost. You are an evil brother, an evil sister, an evil minister, an right. evil mother, an evil elder, an evil child. That's right. Right now. They consider not that they do evil. You're not even considering. Amen. Go ahead. The Holy Ghost said, don't be, be rash. With thy mouth. And let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before God. Now you see why it takes God to make a preacher. Oh, yeah. Amen. God Amen. told Jeremiah, thou shalt speak all what I tell you. All what I tell you. And uh, ever since God made me a preacher, he never made me afraid to tell the people the truth. That's right. But I've learned there's consequences for standing for the truth. And you got to be willing to accept those consequences. Yes, At this stage in my life, I'm willing to accept all the consequences. Wonderful. Standing for the truth of the gospel. Wonderful. wonderful. Go back to the book of Jude here. Back in Jude chapter 1 at verse 3. Yeah. Beloved, when I gave all diligence I to gave write all unto you of the common salvation. To write to you concerning this common salvation, it was needful. For me to write unto you. For me to write unto you. And, and exhort you. to exhort you. That, that you should earnestly you should contend earnestly for the faith. Contend not for the faith. The faith. One Lord, one faith, one, one faith. baptism. That's right. One belief that the Lord had. One belief. And everybody belief, if you hear me good, mm -hmm. must be exactly mm. what the word of God said. Exactly. Baptists got their belief, non-denominational got theirs, Pentecostal got theirs, Apostolic got theirs, African Methodist Episcopal got theirs, right. uh, the regular Episcopalians got theirs, the Catholics got theirs, Mormons got theirs, Jehovah Witnesses, Scientologists, Seven Day Adventists, Hebrew Israelites, everybody got their beliefs. Their beliefs. That's right. And it's hard to find anybody that's interested first. What do God believe? What do God believe? That's what I want. I want to know what do God believe. I don't care nothing about what you believe. <laughs> yeah, here, Pastor Jennings, did I stutter? That's right. I don't care what none of you believe. That's right. My interest is, is what God believed first. First. And you better take your belief and bow it to God's belief. That's right. That's right. Well, my spirit don't agree with that. I don't care. <laughs> That's you right. need the Holy Ghost. If you had the Holy Ghost, you would agree to it. That's right. Because God's spirit ain't never fight the word. No. Mm-mm. Spirit of God bring us subjection to the word. That's right. That's I right. admit it. Like once woman, I don't know who she is.